All right, here we have Zombie Run. Two or more players, it's a card game. The zombies have taken over the town and they're everywhere. Can you be the first to escape the town and get to safety? The player with the lowest number of zombies chasing them after five rounds wins and successfully escapes the town. Zombie Run combines memory with luck and is the ultimate card game for kids with brains. Got, some, got the art right there. All right, let's pop it open. Sorry, I think I have the. So it opens from the side. The cards are smaller. So I see a little wear and tear on the cards. I've played this quite a bit with quite a few people. Everyone seems to enjoy it. Here's your little rule book. And I do need a little. <laughs> All there is to it. So there are no special cards, which is kind of nice. Here are just numbered cards. Four, 15 is the highest. So it goes zero through nine, and then 15 is the hoard. So you just take your deck of small cards here. Up. So say we had two players. What you do is you deal out four cards to each player. So Beginning of the game, you can look at any two of your cards. So not all four, you only can pick up two. So I always pick up the bottom two. Don't show anybody. So I have a four and a three. It's kind of middle of the road in this game. So you want to get lower numbers. So you want to trade your cards until you get you know, the lowest number you think, and then you can call. So I forget what they call calling in this game. So when you think you have the lowest total of number of zombies in your hand, Shout, I've got brains. So it just means you call, pretty much. So the round stops, and everyone reveals. So, on your turn. So on my turn, I know I have a four and a three here. Those aren't great. I don't know what these are, so I can call a card. It's a seven. I'm not going to keep that. Goes the second player. So you can pick this card up. If it was lower. You want to trade something in. So, say they looked at these, they don't know what they are. They're going to trade. They're going to draw. They're going to keep that. Dump that. That was a good play. So, you have to remember a zero is here. Goes back to me. I got a zero. So, I know these are kind of kind of low. I'm going to dump this. This is an eight. And remember that's there. Goes back to this guy. They're going to draw. 15. It's going to immediately discard that. It's the highest card in the game. Go back to me. 15. Same thing. Back again. 2. Let's keep a 2. He knows the 0 is here. Uh, we'll dump this one. It's a 5. 2 is here. So we say he, he looked at these two. So he has a 1 and a 0. So it's back to me. Got a 0. I'm going to dump one of my cards I do know. So let's go back to him. He's going to call or say I've got brains because if you remember correctly, you got a zero, a zero, a two, and a one. So he has three points. So I already know I have what a, a three here, a zero, a nine, and a zero. So he has three, I have twelve. You write that down, you do it for five rounds. That's the lowest number of wins of the game. Now, if he calls and doesn't have the lowest amount in the round, he doubles what he did have. So say for some reason I had four zeros and he had 
three, he would double it and he would get six points for that round. So you gotta be, you kinda gotta be careful uh, when you're calling. I mean, you can risk it all, but like if you, <laughs> you just risk it and you pop one of these, then you know, you're gonna get like double 15, so you have 30 points. So it's gonna be hard to get down within five rounds to, to lower that number. Very easy, very quick, very fun. Uh, it says two or more players. With the amount of cards, I think four is probably the max that you're gonna be able to really do. And, I mean, you can play this with the regular deck of cards, but the art is fun. Simple, zombies, cards are small, a little smaller, so it's easy to carry around. That is Zombie Run.